the reason why we have this boolean data type so either true or false is because they allow us to perform decisions when writing code so let me go ahead and and remove all of this in here and let's just say that we want to have is adult equals to true right so with python we have something called if statement and what the if statement gives us the ability to control the flow of our program so here this is how we use the if statement so if statements they work with boolean expressions so here i'm going to say if and then is underscore and then adult so i'm just saying if underscore adult and then add a semicolon here add a semicolon and then press enter so if is adult i want to print to the console is and then adult right i want to print to the console is adult so if i run this program you can see that we have is and then adult so this is actually printing is adult if i close this and then change this to false i want you to see that if i run the program we're not printing anything to the console so let me go back and explain this so here we are saying if and then this variable is adult so if the value of is adult equals to true we're going to execute this piece of code right here otherwise if it's false we're not we're not even going to execute this piece of code here this is what this is saying so if i change this to true this will actually be if and then is adult so if it is true we'll print line four else we're not printing anything right so this is why we have these boolean expressions so just to give you another example so here instead of saying is adult what i'm going to do is have a variable here i'm going to say age equals to and then 18 right now after is adult let's have another if statement so i'm going to say if and then age and then greater or equal to 18 add column and then enter we're going to say print and then inside you can say adult and I'm going to show you another keyword so else and then column and then print and then add these single quotes not an adult and if I run the program you can see that we have adult right because this expression has evaluated to true so if this is true this will be printed and this will be skipped but if this expression is false this line will not get executed but the else will be so if i change this to for example 17 run you can see that we have not an adult so this is how you work with if statements and booleans so one thing to bear in mind here is you see that it's very important that you indent so here you can see that i'm pressing tab to indent this piece of code right so anything that comes after this if statement has to be on the same level has to be indented i.e. on the same level as print so if i do this this will not work so if i save this and then run the program you can see that we have an error and it says indentation error expected an indented block so 
you can see that it's even red now. So if I indent this, I've just pressed tab and then save. And now the error went away. So the same here. So if I do this, this is invalid. So we need to indent this. So there you have it. This is how you work with if statements and booleans.